Go. Hi, my name is Becky Kramer and I'm the head coach of women's rowing here at UCF. And I'd like to invite you on a tour with my staff and my team through our facilities and campus. Go Knights and charge on. Hey guys, this is Michaela and Lauren and we are outside of Garvey right now. Hey guys, so we're just gonna do a little run through of Garvey and show you guys what we have here. So we'll just go this way. So when we first come in, you'll see that we have a little ordering station. So if I were to order something on here, I click start. They ask you your name. My name is Lauren, so I write that in there. And then it gives you your choices. So I can pick a chicken sandwich. And if I wanted that, I can click it and they'll call my name. And then when I call my name, I'll just take it and go. And then after that, we have our fruit section. So this is where you can get your pineapples, your veggies. Hey y'all, I got pineapple. Yeah. And then we have bananas, apples, oranges, and it just kind of goes all the way. And then to your right, there's a hydration station and then a little breakfast bar. So we also have a hot food section. So take a look at what's here today. Usually they have some rice, sometimes they'll have sweet potato fries, and they have some hot veggies. The meat in here is made from pea protein. Okay. And it eats just like meat. Perfect. It tastes like Italian sausage. <laughs> Perfect. Then we have some hot veggies, some pasta, some potato wedges. And then they have some other chicken and rice. So we have some cold stuff. We have some prepackaged sandwiches. And then we also have a salad slash power bowl bar. You can get your base, some kale, spinach, there's also <laughs> rice, quinoa, and then your protein, usually there's some chicken, oh tofu, and then... Hi, my name is Ava Russo, I'm a sophomore here on the team, and today I'm going to show you around the stadium. Here, you got the bounce house where all the football games take place. Back here, you got the coach's office, indoor practice field for football, outdoor practice field for football, and that tower is where we live. Just to get another view, that is the track and soccer field. Baseball is over there. Practice soccer field over there. And once again, different view from the inside. That's all I got for you guys. Passing it on to the next person. Hi, my name is McKenna and I am a junior here at UCF. I am a health sciences major. And right now I am standing in front of the student athlete leadership building. This is where a lot of resources are offered for student athletes. And we're gonna check that out in a little bit with Emily. But before we do that, we're gonna go over to our left and we're gonna check how close this building is to the football stadium. part about this building it is so close to the one thing that we all love football and to our left um, that path leads you to Garvey which is the dining hall the residential building which is towers and the coaches offices now we're gonna go inside to Emily to check out more of the resources that are offered to student athletes Hi, I'm Emily, I'm a junior here at UCF, and I'm going to be showing you the downstairs area of the Leadership Center. So to the left here we have the SAW offices. This is where Nikki and Devante's offices are. They're here to help you with any academic, professional, or personal needs. Uh, so in here is the office, and this is a great place to meet other student athletes, do homework, and just hang out. There's computers, TVs, and sofas. To the right here is the conference area. This is where staff meets, and I'm one of the staff reps for rowing. We're a voice um, to all the rowers and to people like administration and just the UCF community. Um, SAC is the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Uh, to the right is the area where we usually have all the events for SAC. It's the Assembly Hall. Um, and now we're going to take you to upstairs to see Nicole. So I'm just going to show you guys up a little bit here. This is where people come to do their study hall hours. They have their tutors, they meet here with Emily. Emily's office is right down that hallway over there. Hello and welcome everyone. I am Coach Rice 
and I am in front of the Roth Athletic Center, also known as the RAC. Inside here houses the athletic department, all the coaches' offices, most of the coaches' offices, and as well as the uh, AD and all of his executive staff. Right around here, you can also see Wayne Dench, where the, uh, where the, where the team trains, uh, waits. And then over here, we have the field house, along with right around the corner, there we got the stadium. So again, you can see everything is right around the central area. All right, from here, we're gonna go inside. We go see Coach Mari and see what's going on inside. Hello everyone, Mari Senbo, assistant coach. I am inside the Roth Athletic Center lobby and I'll be taking you upstairs to see a little bit more of the building. I'm upstairs in the Roth Athletic Center. These are the offices of everyone that works in athletics. It's nice to be in a nice, large, open concept communal space. Back here are the offices for our assistant and head coach, Becky Kramer. And now I'm gonna to toss it over to Yim down at the night. Hey everyone, my name's Maria Yim. I'm a senior studying hospitality management and I'm standing here in front of our football stadium. So whenever we're not rowing or not studying, we love to support our fellow student athletes at their games and matches. And our football games are some of the most exciting events on campus. I'm showing the outside of Towers. This is where most of the girls on the team live and it's super close to places like our parking garage and Wayne Dench for weights and training. And the arena is this way for more athletic trainers and anything. My name's Abby and I'm Julie and welcome to 401. Come on in. So to start off our tour, we're going to begin in the lounge. This is where we all come to hang out, do a bit of study um, and just watch for the TV if we have free time. Um, as you can see, we've got a really nice big window, lots and lots of natural light. We can see the sunrise, sunset through this window and out into the courtyard in front of Towers. Over on this wall, we've each got our own flags up here just to make it feel a little more, bit more like at home. Um, each lounge does come with a table and chairs, but we've added our own couches just because it's a little bit more comfortable. Um, and then over on this side, you can see the kitchen, beautiful clean kitchen. <laughs> um, we do obviously all our cooking out here when we're not having meals at the dining hall. Um, and then we make sure our shelves are always stocked up here in the pantry. Lots of yummy treats in there. And then our fridge too over on this side. And I'm gonna pass it on to Julie to show you through the bedrooms. So this is a four room, uh, four bedroom room. And um, as you can see over here, there are two of the rooms and it's me and Abby's place. We both each get a sink, own sink, and then we share a bathroom together. Um, if you follow me in here, you can see how one of the rooms looks like. This is my room and it comes with a dresser, a desk and a bed. And so you kind of get to decorate it all on your own because it's just you in here and while you also get to share the common space with other people. And if we just step one more step into here, this is where Abby lives. And as you can see, you get this chance to like decorate it all on your own and do whatever you want to do. And it's just super neat and super nice. And, and just the last thing over here is our bathroom that we share two and two. So over on the other side, if you were to follow there, um, our two other roommates are living over here and it's just super cozy to be living four people together and we always have such a good time cooking and having fun together and that was pretty much yeah. it for the room tour. So that's 401. Behind me is the men and women's soccer field where you can watch games, you can even watch it from the Towers parking garage up there. Um, and then right across the street, we have Burger U, which is our favorite little burger restaurant right next to Towers, where you can get really good french fries and milkshakes. Those are my personal favorites. And then right next door to Burger U is the Amazon store, which is the most magical place ever. You can order a package and then you'll get an email with a barcode and you can scan it and it'll, your package will magically appear in a locker. Hi everybody, I'm Lara. I'm a senior on the team and I'm from Italy. I'm at the arena and where we have uh, basketball games, volleyball games, we have an extra weight room, an extra training room. Uh, we host events and concerts and we have a very, very fun event called uh, Swords Awards for all the student athletes.
over there it's towers and the barnes and noble where you can get starbucks and coffee and i'll pass you to lucy hi everyone so on this side we have the plaza so we have a convenience store to pick up whatever you need and lots of food choices like tacos pizza um duncan and star uh subway and then we also have the small gym so you can go there to do any of your extra minutes that you want to do um, you can also take yoga classes and other workout classes there Hey everyone, it's Connery and Tegan and we're freshmen on the UCF rowing team. We're standing out here at Memory Mall right in front of Starbucks where you can grab a drink and study with your friends. And then over here we have the hammocks where you can chuck up a hammock and hang out with your mates or come out onto the lawn and play volleyball or spike ball. And they also do a lot of concerts here as well as movies. I'm going to show you the student union. So this is the outside of the student union. And on the other side is our brand new renovated library with our, um, our breezeway. So the breezeway has a Chick-fil-A, a Domino's, and another bookstore. So I'm going to take you into the student union. So the student union is in the center of campus. So I was, I was always told as a freshman that if I ever got lost, you find your way to the student union in the center and then you can go from there and you'll never get lost. So we have a Smoothie King and we also have a Pegasus mural here. So the student union has a bunch of rooms they host a lot of events here. A lot of clubs have have um, meetings here. So there's a Chili's, there's Starbucks, Panda Express, a Huey Magoo's as well. This is all newly renovated as well as a lot of seating. So you can do homework here, hang out here as well. There's also a Starbucks upstairs, a Bento, a Cordoba, and even a place where you can get your bikes fixed and um, an eyeglass store. So they really have everything in here. Um, so one of the really cool things about this place is there we have the Pegasus seal here. So the Pegasus seal is roped off because the legend is, is that if you walk on it, you will not graduate in four years. So it's roped off so you don't walk on it. So a lot of people, when they do graduate in four years, they take a picture on top of the Pegasus seal so that they can, because the legend no longer applies to them. So this is our student union. And now to Tatum and Rusne for the Reflection Pond and Millican Hall. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm Finley and this is Ma, and we're here at the RWC, which is a short walk away from Towers. The RWC has lots of amenities like an indoor track, an indoor rock climbing wall, cardio machines, and free weights, so it's perfect for your extra workouts. Now to Ania at the lap pool. Hi guys, I'm Ania and I'm here at the lap pool, UCF's heated outdoor pool right next to the RWC. And I'm going to throw it over to Lindsay at the other pool. And I'm at the UCF leisure pool. One awesome thing about being a knight is having access to this really great pool right on campus. And there aren't a whole lot of schools that you can go swimming year round, including the months of January and February. So this is a really great place to come and hang out with friends when the weather is nice and you have some free time. Hi everyone, my name is Sam Cox. I'm a senior here at UCF and I'm studying health sciences. Hey guys, my name is Ruth. I'm also a senior and I'm studying sports and exercise science. We're here to talk about Milk and Hall, the library and the reflecting pond. Behind me here is UCF's Milton Hall. Milton Hall is home to a lot of administrative offices as well as the registrar's office and financial aid. Right above the Pegasus seal is Dr. Carhart, our president's office, so we can go ahead and wave to him. Behind me here is the UCF Reflecting Pond. The Reflecting Pond is home to UCF's number one homecoming tradition, Spirit Spot. Students come from all over campus to run into the fountain and grab for ducks. Ducks typically mean good luck for the semester. Behind me here is the John C. Hitt Library. The John C. Hitt Library is progressive, so once you enter on the second floor, as you go up, it gets quieter and quieter. It has lots of great study spaces for students. Just behind it 
is the library extension, which there's more books, more resources, and of course, more study spaces.